Okay, give me just a second here. One. I, I think that you are the artist formerly known as Prince. What? Oh, you dear. are correct. Are you I'm speaking me? to you from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelorette number. Hey there, it's Joshu back again with something different. Um, so I bounce around from one streaming app to the other, and I, I rock with Hulu mostly for the new shows that come on a day after they air on regular TV. I find that very convenient. I'm a big fan of game shows and reality TV, and I've noticed the trend of reviving old TV shows that you probably haven't heard of before, like the Fantasy Island has been revived, To Tell the Truth has been revived in 2016 and still going, and uh, The Dating Show show has been revived and they give it a modern twist like uh now it's instead of the dating show it's the celebrity dating show. the celebrity dating show is a 2021 revival by abc that aired over the summer with eight episodes it was something to kind of laugh and cringe at from home while most people were struggling with dating or avoiding dating completely in real life the lady the tramp they share a noodle and they kiss in the middle of the noodle. If we could do that with any food, what would it be? A banana. That's pretty good. <laughs> it seems like they are going for a nostalgic appeal with Generation X and the boomers while having that modern flair the millennials would like. This kind of explains the host pairing of Michael Bolton and Zooey Deschanel, of all people. You. Seriously, thanks. We're back with more of the celebrity dating game. I'm familiar with Zooey, but not so much Michael Bolton. I do recognize him as the featured singer from that Jack Sparrow song that The Lonely Island did. So we got some big feet. I like this. 15. Um, 15. 15. I pick you. Yeah, you can't Michael. Pick Michael Bolton. I can't. What? Oh, He's off limits. Michael Bolton. Okay, yeah. well, might want to go home with biggest roles. That's why he sing like that. He has a fantastic voice, so his job on this show is literally to just sit there and sing. Bolton's singing is the only time this show isn't feeling awkward or corny. Even though his singing is kind of corny with the lyrics, uh, it's like, yo, who wrote this? But the format of this show has stayed the same in each iteration that it had. It's to have the celebrity or the person in the hot seat sit there while randos sit behind a curtain and answer any question that they are asked. What you get here are attempts at being funny, flirty, and sexy, which can easily make it weird if you can't see the person you're talking to. Hi. If you're not cheating, you're not trying hard enough. Hey. If you're not cheating, you're not oh trying God. hard enough? You said that out loud on a dating thing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought yeah. you couldn't get one. If I was a banana, how would you <laughs> unpeel me? Well, I'd start oh. first with my big white teeth. I'd break open the top, and then I'd use both hands, left, right, left, right, until we reached the bottom. You had me a big white teeth. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but cool. I guess eight episodes was enough for a test run. It seems very much like ABC was just trying it out. Maybe they continue it, maybe not. But this show is actually notorious for getting a couple of seasons getting canceled and being revived again in 10 years. It originally started uh, mid 60s as just the dating game and lasted till 1973, but it continued for another year as the new dating game. And then they canceled it while playing reruns of what they already had to show. In 1978, they revived it back as the all new dating game but canceled it again in 1980. But then in 86, they brought it back and canceled it in 89. Then guess what? They brought it back again in 1996, only to end it in 1999. So it seems like it was just dead and buried and we had all forgotten about it. But just like some ancient monster from a supernatural horror movie, it comes back 21 years later in its new iteration, the celebrity dating game. I actually enjoyed Zooey and Michael as host, I think they were a good matchup for the generational appeal that they went for the show. And then they'll spend the rest of their lives together. That would be amazing, but we can't guarantee it. We should guarantee it. I mean, that would really set this show apart from other shows. <laughs> think about it. 
the dating game in general is like a novelty or a fad that comes back every so often and it deals with that age-old subject matter that all humans have to consider at some point dating a stranger i do like the light-hearted novelty game they've made out of dating here but it's still very much cringe because of that blind factor who do you think i am and why bachelor at number one Ooh, i'm gonna say Polly d because he's hilarious on Jersey Shore, okay? Wait. So I can't. I know. Well, your voice sounds to me a little bit like Dave Chappelle, but we know he's already what? married. What? So oh. your voice sounds a little bit like Vincent, Vincent Vaughn, but not completely so. What? Whoa. Um. <laughs> It makes all of this just seem kind of fake, as if you can just eliminate the physical attraction aspect and win a date with someone. At that point, it's just a blind date. I wonder how many of these actually ended in a relationship though, like, or even an actual date. Cause the way some of these reveals are, it's kind of like they're being paired up in a science class with some kid that they don't know. Oh, I guess we gotta do a presentation together now, yay. Okay, so there's another dating show I found on Hulu called Blind Date. It was filmed in 2019, pre-Pandorama, and it airs on the Bravo Network. And how do you feel about kissing on your first date? Um... Nah. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? You doing good? Yeah, how you doing? What's your name? What's up, how's your day? Doing good, how about you? Not bad, man. That's not bad. How old are you? 28. I thought you were about 28. Um, oh, damn. shit. I'm You just seem mature. It might be based on the British show of the same name, which has been around since the 80s and had a 2017 to 2019 revival of its own. This American version was made in Georgia. Yeah. Which means it was filmed around Atlanta and had Nikki Glaser as the narrator. Lucky for her, she doesn't have to actually appear on screen for any of this. Nikki's been doing dating show hosting lately, as she also appears in the garbage HBO show, F-Boy Island. But anyways, this American version of Blind Date has a focus on the social media dating app culture and shows these weird little text pop-up bubbles and filter effects and emojis during all these awkward dates. Yes. How many people have you dated? Not very many. Really? Yeah. Didn't you sleep with my friend? I think I know who you're talking about, and yes. <laughs> oh, whoa. I was surprised at how easy it was, actually. Like, for the reason someone you'd like. That women are habitually single. Uh oh. Because y'all crazy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy, boy, y'all crazy. You're two for right I'm, now. I'm, apparently, you're I'm, here to change, I'm here to change your ways. And you're in sales, That's I right. mean. <laughs> I've never in my life had a full cup of coffee. You're Colombian? Yeah, which is weird, right? You're Colombian and Indian. you've never had coffee. You're dead to me. <laughs> it's more reality show than dating game. And I find it a lot more entertaining. Some of these dates actually are normal and they go well, but most of them are bad one way or the other. And half of it is set up for good TV by the producers. Like there's this one date where the guy is disgusted with feet, but they set him up with a foot model. That can't just be a coincidence. And people on here are getting drunk on these blind dates. Like they aren't the ones paying for anything. It's definitely on the show producers tab but it does make it for way more interesting interactions. They be getting drunk though. You wanna go somewhere else? Yes, can we get another shot though? Oh shit. Shot, shot, <laughs> shot, 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 shot. I know. He wants a shot. He's shot, not shot, done. Shot, 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 shot. Come on, let's do a shot. Every time I fall in love, I get hit by a car. <laughs> She's not kidding. <laughs> My number one conspiracy theory is not actually have the real president be like out in public and that the person that's actually the president is just a puppet. It's fun to watch, but I would never put myself in a random situation like that. I don't do blind dates and I don't care if the show pays for everything. I wouldn't be doing it on TV either. The blind date reality show actually feels more authentic than the dating game 
because while the dating game is more structured and set up, the contestants might only be there for the celebrity dating aspect. Uh, what about you? Okay, so you're on Blackish. Sounds familiar. Um, I haven't seen the show, sadly. I oh. want to say Michael B. Jordan just because I'm hoping that it's him. Oh. <laughs> and when that curtain comes back, it might be a whole different story with whether or not the celeb actually wants to spend time with them or not. Not seeing the person is a huge negative as attraction is the main factor for this whole dating thing, is it not? Blind date is more authentic simply because people can see each other the whole time. They get to stand up, move around, and actually feel the other person's energy. At the end of the day, Blind dating is cringe and a bad idea. It always has been a bad idea. One contestant from the 70s iteration of the dating game almost went out with a serial killer. Nobody knew that he was a murderer, but that happened. You can only imagine how lame and cringe-worthy blind dating in real life can be off camera with no one else to pay for your drinks. So be safe out there and don't waste your time with this blind dating nonsense. It's fun to watch other people do it sometimes, but I'm not a fan of dating strangers. I'd rather edit a video. So if you like how I edited this video, like and subscribe, and I will have a more nostalgic related content coming up in the near future.